You probably clicked on this video because you're feeling pretty lost and stuck in your 20s. One minute you're on top of the world and you feel like you've got your shit together. And the next you're questioning every single decision that you've ever made and how the things that you did when you were seven could have made you more successful, could have progressed your relationships further, could have made you more healthy, bigger, stronger, to make you feel happier. Here's the thing, you're supposed to feel pretty lost right now, but your perspective's wrong. In your 20s, exploration isn't just key, but it's the whole point. We often feel like we're lost because we don't have everything figured out, but what if not having a plan is actually part of the plan? Your 20s are about exploring, trying new things, figuring out what you like, figuring out what you don't like, and just figuring out who you are as a person. In 2022, I qualified as a physiotherapist. In 2023, I decided to open my own own clinic. Was I ready? Absolutely not. Am I still doing it now? Nope. But was it the right decision? Yes. And I'm not sitting here to tell you to start a business, but what I am saying is try to embrace opportunities. Try new things, explore the world, and dive headfirst into any good opportunity that you're presented with. Book a flight to Asia, live in a tent for a month, move out and live in a caravan in Scotland. Do shit that's gonna help you learn about who you are as a person and what you enjoy in life. Now is actually the time to fuck up and you're not lost, you're just exploring. Just try and think that every decision that you make right now is getting you to where you actually need to be, even if that decision doesn't necessarily feel good right now. I think we get lost because we think we should be following a certain path and trying to find the perfect career, the perfect relationship, the perfect body, the perfect mindset, the perfect life by the time you're 30. But none of this is real. The shit that you see online, on social media, people posting about them getting their new house, they've reached a certain level of success, people posting a picture of their brand new Mercedes with its private reg, it makes people look like they've got their shit together. But realistically, people probably feel just as lost, if not, more lost than you do right now. Don't get me wrong, some people find their passion early. Some people will find it as soon as they come out of high school. Some people will find it in college. Some people will find it in uni. But for the majority of people in your 20s, you've probably not found your passion. You've probably not found your purpose and that is absolutely fine. It's all about perspective. You in your 20s right now might not have like shit figured out, but that's not the point of your 20s. Like right now you shouldn't have things figured out. You should be figuring things out and putting yourself into things head first. You're not behind. You're exactly where you need to be. When you're in your 20s, and I know this from experience, failure feels like the wrong outcome. And it's easy to believe, and I've told myself this in the past, that failure means that you're setting yourself back and you're losing time. And sometimes it even feels like you're putting yourself on the wrong path for no reason. If there's one thing that I've learned so far in my 20s, I'm 26 by the way, is that failure Failure is not optional. In fact, failure is essential to learning about who you are and what you want to be. My dream of owning a physiotherapy clinic when I came out of uni was a real dream at the time because I didn't know any different. I opened the clinic, I did it for almost a year. I realized that I don't wanna be stuck in one location forever. I also realized that I absolutely love working with people. I love new, meeting new people and I love helping people. However, the clinic did not give me the time freedom and the location freedom that I think I want in life right now. That's not to say that I might want something different in 20 years time, but right now I want location freedom, I want time freedom. In hindsight, would I have not opened that clinic? I learned things from opening that clinic, and it was not necessarily anything about the business itself, it's more about what it taught me about me, and I suppose this is what I'm trying to tell you in this video, is that try new things, try something that you might not do forever, but put your all into it because you will be so amazed about what it teaches you. YouTube, for example, is a great way of learning a little bit more about you and what you want to do. Talking to a camera with no one else around, trying to figure out what to say, how to be interesting, and actually probably makes you realize that you're not that interesting, you're a pretty boring person, and you need to go out and actually get some experiences to talk about some shit. I feel like I've experienced a lot, I've done a little bit of traveling, I've started businesses, I've just started my third business. I feel like I've got a fair amount of life experience for a 26 year old, okay, I've not got as much experience as a 40 year old or a 30 year old, but I feel like I'm quite experienced, I've got things to talk about, and even now, I feel like I'm a boring as fuck person. If you have an opportunity that passes you, I want you to think, will this benefit me in any way, even if it does not go well? Imagine you're 45, 
with two children and a wife and a house and all of that responsibility. The, the shit you can do in your 20s, you will definitely have a harder time doing in your 40s and 50s because your responsibility will naturally be a little bit more unless you stay single forever. Society and social media has this tainted look of what it's like in your 20s. You've seen all these 20 year olds becoming millionaires, they're starting marketing agencies, they're starting YouTube channels, they're blowing up, they're going viral and this is just not realistic. There's a select few people that figure it out earlier. Realistically, you have time to figure shit out, understand who you are as a person and understand what you want to do. So next time you feel lost in your 20s, remember you're not lost. You're exploring, you're discovering, you're figuring shit out and you're learning who you are. Thanks for watching this video. But for now, my name's Dan, I'm a physio and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.